kid you not, I can't make this shit up. So, let me update y'all on what the fuck going on. I am currently in Miami and my luggage is not. <laughs> so, I start from San Francisco. I'm in San Francisco now, so I board in San Francisco, check my bag, lay over in Denver, get to Miami, go to baggage claim. My bag ain't there. Where the fuck is my bag, y'all? They done left my shit. They left my shit in Denver. I just wanted to cry. They never transferred my luggage in Denver, so it never got to Miami when I got to Miami. However, it is now en route. It's in Atlanta. It'll be en route to Jamaica in the morning at 6 a.m. It should be there by the time that I get there. I have like the incident report here. So now I'm here in my hotel in Miami. I'm just here for one night, catch my flight in the morning. But I'm gonna be wearing the same shit because <laughs> I don't got shit but my fucking person over here. I did not have a carry on. This has never happened to me before. A little upset. I already cried, had my temper tantrum, called my mom. <laughs> Nothing I can do now but pray to God and you know, it's gonna work out. I'm having my shit tomorrow. Comment below if this has ever happened to you. Your luggage got lost or delayed. Good morning, good people. But however, I am still in the same clothes, okay? Your girl is in the same clothes. I woke up this morning, took a shower, put it back on. I did have like some smell good in my purse, you know, dabbed a little bit of that on brush my teeth shout out to the hotel for some essentials so update on my luggage i was calling them last night a couple of times well last night and this morning to double check make sure my bag was in route i should be able to just pick it up when i get there um i did get a voucher i got a 200 dollars travel voucher for the inconvenience um and it just taught me a lesson to make sure i carry my essentials in my purse if I don't have a carry-on. It's gonna be okay. I keep telling myself it's gonna be okay. I'm just ready to get there, change, and feel cute. I just want to update y'all on what's going on with my delayed luggage. <laughs> but let's go to the airport and I will see y'all in Jamaica. Jamaica and I have my luggage I changed clothes I finally changed clothes so we are in the room right now we didn't already fucked it up so can't really show y'all but I will show y'all this you want check it out check it out This is what we're waking up to every morning. Okay. So yeah, our room ain't nothing fancy, honey. Ain't nothing fancy at all. We about to go to the bar and drink. I gotta tell y'all about this motherfucking resort. But that's gonna be another, I'm gonna tell y'all another day. Cause they is killing my buzz <laughs> with this bullshit. Say hello Hi. to the vlog. Hello vlog, how are you? Day two, 
in Jamaica. We are going to Chuka. I don't know how to pronounce it. Chuka Outpost. I believe I will leave it down below. But that's our little activity for today. Going to do the river rafting and um, horseback riding. So this is what I have on. This is my little swimsuit representing the country. Check out my bag. It's so cute. Yes. If this ain't me, I don't know what is. So cute. Got it from a girl on Instagram. So, I'm about to put on some bug spray and some sunscreen and we finna go. We got a shuttle coming to pick us up at eight. Last night was cool. Niggas was thirsty, but it was cool. <laughs> Starting to pour. And you gonna shield us? It's raining, but who cares at this point? Drown, drown. From the jump. Yeah. Hey. Just do it just because. Left, right. Hey. 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 Okay, okay, okay. 
we're gonna go to dinner and then we're going out again Whitney how do you feel about raffling today raffling. Raffling was amazing I feel like it was some bougie like shit mm -hmm. that we did like mm -hmm. It was so nice, so relaxing. It was definitely on our bougie our, shit. Our um, host or whatever, he was really cool. Michael, Michael shout, shout out, out to you. Michael. Today we're going to a place called Mystic Mountain to do bobsledding, zip lining, and I think one other thing. This is my Fashion Nova outfit. Fashion Nova. Yesterday was amazing. The river raft was like 10 out of 10. That and the horseback, 10 out of fucking 10. I hope y'all can hear me over the lawnmower. Let me step inside. It was really loud. Actually, like 2727, 27, way better than Pier 1. Pier 1 was all right. It was just too packed to really enjoy it, I guess. Um, but 27 is definitely a fucking vibe. Like, I would definitely go back tonight. But I think tonight we're actually gonna do a strip club, so. Jamaica, you guys, as you can tell, my voice is gone. 
But um, yeah, this is the fit. We're gonna go out, see what we can get into tonight. It's 9.17, my flight is at 1.25. So I'm just chilling till checkout. I'm gonna catch the shuttle and head back to Oakland where I fly into San Francisco. But let's just do a quick little rundown of my trip to Jamaica, you guys. We stayed at the Hilton Rose Hall on inclusive resort. It was not adults only and um, Originally, I was not going to stay there, but I let somebody else talk me into staying at the Hilton, and I regret it because I did not like it. It was nice, it was basic, but um, the food wasn't all that, and just the vibe. But yeah, it was the vibe. It was the vibe of Hilton because I'm 26, you know, I'm young, wild, and free, and I like to turn up. <laughs> But yeah, it had a good mix of people. Like a lot of black people were still there, but it just wasn't popping, okay? They wasn't trying to, they, they, they don't even give out like shots for real. And a lot of their drinks are pre-made. A lot of their alcoholic drinks were pre-made unless you like order something specific. Thursday when we arrived, like I always do airport transportations. I always book that in advance on via tour. So we did that. The whole entry and exit process with COVID going on was super easy because right now Jamaica no longer has curfew, no longer requires COVID tests to enter or no longer requires mask. So it was very like, you know, normal, right? You do need a COVID test to go back into the United States though. So um, we took that the day before we left and you know, super easy on the resort and it was free for us on the resort. Went to Margaritaville that night. We did not get to experience Margaritaville during the day, which is one thing I will have to do when I go back. Um, but it was cool at night, it was cool at night. But I definitely wanna go during the day to experience like the uh, water sports and activities that they have. We did end up using like this one taxi girl the entire weekend. I found her on Google actually, called her Thursday night because our resort was charging $70 to go to Margaritaville. And I was like, oh, fuck no. So I found her on Google and we ended up using her the whole weekend. We just called her whenever we needed her. And she did not charge as much. She was really cool, really protective of us because she knows that the men in Jamaica can be aggressive. So that's, just keep that in mind, okay? The men in Jamaica are aggressive. Okay, times 10. Um, what else? We ended up going to 2727 on Friday night. Lit. You have to buy a bottle. They don't do mixed drinks. You have to buy a bottle. But it's like regular priced bottles. Like in a liquor store. It's not overpriced. We had hookah. It was on the, like, on the ocean. Amazing. Lit. Lit. But that was fun, and then we ended up going to Pier 1 after that, which is also pretty popular. It's huge, a huge venue. But it was just a little too packed to enjoy. I feel like was you literally shoulder to shoulder, and I don't really like that. Saturday, we went to Mystic Mountain. So let me tell y'all, there's really nothing in Montego Bay, okay? Don't shit in Montego Bay is like restaurants, shops, and resorts. All the activities are outside of Montego Bay in like Negro or Ocho Rios, which is both of them are like an hour's drive. So when you book your excursions, make sure you book it with transportation. So the only that was the only thing I didn't like is that you have to go so far to do your activity. So a lot of our activities took up most of the day, which I didn't like. I would need like an extra day or two just to just chill, you know, and do nothing. Mystic Mountain. We did the bobsledding, which was cool. I just wish it lasted longer. It was like one little ride, but it was cool. Um, the zip lining was fun. I love the people, the guys that were doing the zip lining that worked there, they're, they're so funny, they're cool. I didn't get to try much Jamaican food, so I would have to do that a little bit more when I come back. Like I did try the jerk chicken. I did try it. Um, 
was it beef patty like a jamaican patty that was good I, that was really good actually but i'm gonna have to come back and try like oxtails curry goat all of that because i really didn't get to <laughs> We also went to the strip club, we went to Taboo Strip Club. It was it was all right, like I can't really complain uh, because I've seen worse strippers in California because strippers in California don't get naked. But these bitches in Taboo was naked, baby. And that's what I like, I need to see ass and titties. Ass and titties, that's, you gonna work for this, this money. Cause I wanna go to Usain Bolt's restaurant, Tracking Records. I wanted to go to Rick's Cafe. You have to have your passport, of course, you guys. No visa. Like I said, COVID really is like non-existent over there right now. So I used um, USD money the entire time. So I didn't do the whole currency exchange this time. Um, but thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the content.